devote the closing prayer to our faithful member of our flock who is leaving us tonight to fill a position of great importance in foreign policy. I refer to our brother Brutus Jones. Will you bow your heads in prayer? Almighty and everlasting God, we the people of Hezekiah Baptist Church is Honey, you show is wonderful in them clothes. Yeah, I suppose these clothes is something to look at back here, honey. Where I've been while I've been training for the job, you wouldn't notice them. Well, you want to see them New York gals on Lenox Avenue? Them gals is fast, I bet, switching themselves to catch the men. But honey, you wouldn't look at none of them fast gals while you's away from home, would you? They ain't none of them's pretty in the face, like my gal. And that prodigal son, he takes the inheritance with his happy gives him, and he spends it on the past life, but not this boy, Lord. No, Jesus, not this boy. And the prodigal son, he is a liar, and the truth ain't in him, but not this boy, Lord. He got the truth, Lord. Yes, yes. You know, I looks up. And there's the Capitol building, looking like a palace on the hill. And the big front door opens, and the President of the United States marches down the avenue with a band before and a band behind. And he comes right up to my car, and he says just as natural, well, Brutus, you sure is much of a man. And I, for one, wants to compliment you on landing the job. Honey, they're singing the closing song at the church. We've got time. Jeff's train's gonna pick me up at the water tank. But you know they're waiting to see you before you go. I sure hate to leave my gal.
she is. Come on, Jones. He hit my buddy. Honey, this is Jeff. Hello, sister. Take track, Bo, because we're riding right now. Come on. Right. But this is too much. He is coming back, ain't he? Oh, sure, I'm coming back. You just get yourself a new dress with this, honey. You know, a red one. That's your style. And take care of yourself till I come back now. Come on. Come on. All right, old boy. That's all right, honey. Don't worry. I'll be back very soon. boy. You done told him goodbye now. You gonna stick to it? Sure, I Because you big time from this old. Now, I suppose you think you know what all there is about this job. So, didn't you done instruct him? Oh, just a rudimental. Now, we've got to take up the higher education, finances. Yes, brother. And right here is where I estimate the profits for the run. Now, if you brush a dime out of this, you're doing well. And number three here, boy, that's good for hair. Now, what about this one? Number five, a whole section. That's a honeymoon couple. That's a natural. If you please your hand right, it means the long green. Big money, huh? That's what I want to tell you about. You know, there's two kind of women that ride the Pullman. There's the kind that says, uh, good evening, Porter. That don't mean nothing but a tip. Then there's the kind that sings out, hello there, Jack Johnson. And boy, that means money. No. Yeah, and I'm going to show you where to spend it. This is my New York home bowl, and you'll always find me here. Oh, my son, please on the uh, I don't know she was around here somewhere. Didn't know I was coming in, eh? Honey, look to my girl, eh? Don't do that, son. Don't do that, son. Not to drive my house. You ain't gonna send me to jail. Go. Yeah, go ahead and tell. There she is. Undine, meet Mr. Jones. Meet you, Mr. Jones. Wanna dance? Sure, go ahead. You my buddy, ain't you? How do you like the city, big boy? I like it fine, now. Coming back soon? As soon as a train will bring me.
was sure glad to see you. I get to missing you more and more on these long runs. You know, you were not asked me to come here to meet you. I've been afraid. Afraid of what? Mm, you know, Jeff. He's a bad actor over me. Well, you ain't got nothing to be afraid of. I can handle that little two bits porter. You ought to throw him over anyhow. Then it'd be just you and me. Sometimes I wonder. Wonders what? If you're gonna laugh. You ain't got nothing to worry about, honey. But you ain't heard the good news yet. I've been transferred to the president's private car. Oh, that ain't nothing. Well, Jeff say you don't make no tips on that job. That's why he didn't take it. There you are. That's the difference between me and Jeff. He can't see no bigger than two bits. Me? Oh, I'd just be stepping to my own class on that private car. <laughs> Harrington, if there is no leak, we stand to clean up millions. That's the idea. Good night. Good night. Good night, Jones. Good night. Anything on your mind, Jones? Well, it's awful word about that merger. Sure would be bad for us if that news got out. Us? Hmm. How long have you been with me, Jones? Six weeks, sir. Learning fast, Jones. Almost too fast. Got any money, Jones? I got about 300 in the bank. All right. You're in the pool for $300. Thank you, sir. And, Jones, uh, I would rather you didn't leave the car until Sunday. Two days solitary, but it'll be worth it. Right? Yes, sir. And, Jones, when we get back to New York, it might be a good idea for you to go back on your old run. There's more room for big men in Georgia. Yes, sir. Boy, you sure was born to wear that oyster front. Where'd you get such a good fit? Well, the boss and me talked it over, and he sent me to his tailor. He said, Jones, you've got a position to live up to now, and you can't afford to be careless in your attire. You and Mr. Harrington must be getting mighty thick. Well, we just pulled off a little deal together. I give him some valuable advice. And he said, Jones, you're learning fast. You're getting big. And then he takes me into partnership. But ain't you going back on the Pullman no more? Oh, I'll stick by the job for a few more runs. But uh, things don't seem to be going quite right on that old run of mine. And the boss asked me to drop down that way and straighten them out. Well, I guess since you'll be down that way, you'll probably drop in the White House. Oh, well, that's an idea. <laughs> Look here, what are you trying to do, kid me? <laughs> me kid you? Boy, you're a scream. Jones, you're getting big. You're learning fast. Then he takes me into partnership. Come clean, big boy. Where'd you get that money, in a crap game? <laughs> Go ahead, laugh some more. You done laughed yourself right over my payroll. Oh, honey, sweetheart, I didn't mean it. I was only kidding. No, you're too funny to live with. Any woman's baggage which gets heavy and heavy the longer you totes them. You got to change them to keep traveling light. Here's forty dollars and goodbye. So you was all set to do this before you come in, huh? Through is through. You heard me. And you can go back to Jeff. He still thinks there ain't nobody like his Undine. Yeah. Well, you ain't the first man that's gone down and out thinking everybody else was a fool. I got eyes. Even if Jeff ain't. And you can tell that polecat Belle Ledoux, if she wants to keep on trying to look like Garbo, she'd better stay out of my way. See him, sister. <laughs>
Geraldine, meet Miss LeDuc. I've known Belle since before she straightened her hair. And when she went with Johnson. Where is he now, Belle? Still in jail? Undine, where's your manners? I'm just trying to talk so that the cold camp can understand me. Come on, baby. Let's dance. What's the matter with you tonight, Undine? Now, I don't like you acting so to my pal. Your pal? Yeah. Don't make me mad. When he's been fighting me at the back for a year. What do you mean? I mean, when I get finished with Bell, he ain't gonna have much left to love. Traveling light. Jeff, I never saw you in such a mood. Never mind the lip. Get these nits back away when from the table. Hey, fellas, button. come on, back up. Give That's him a chance. Where is you? That's when huh. you on the line, you nits. Eat him, Bunky Kid. Eva Dice. Big Dick. Who is that singing? Is that you, Lily Pie? Yes. Well, if you can't sing no better than that, shut up. <laughs> Jeff Gal must have stowed him down. Yes, what's eating you, Jeff? You've been trying to ride somebody ever since you come in here. Ah, woman, dry up. Do the drum on You can roll. Let him roll. Just what says you faded and let him roll. Push let him hop. Send him at a man have a little blue. Right, get it, get it. $20 they don't. $20 they do. Now, if you want to make your money. Take drum and roll in here, brother. Do this for a while. And ah, the man went away. Yeah, uh, Jones. Give me a shooter there, somebody. Come on, give me a shooter. Fifty is dead, that shooter. Man, take that chicken feet off of here and play it on the line. Come on, give me a shooter there. Big money talk. What you shoot, Mr. Jones? Put in the nickel. Put in the nickel, he goes. I, I got the nickel. You can't bet with it in your hand. Put it on the wood. Let him shoot. Let him roll his face. Oh, my hand, Nick. Let him pop it. Come here. Hey, balls of fire. Big dick. Don't get nervous, boy. You can back it. Let me have it. Six for me, Dice. Eleven. Who wants any part of these four saw books? That makes my point. Let the dice bring on misery. Let them off and let them give them time. Six for me, Dice. Six eight. The man went away. You know, why don't you get up off the table? Can't you see your coat sleeve stuffing with that? Now, what are you talking about? Can't I make a bet? Yeah, old boy, you win or die. Hey, old Jeff, box money. Yeah. Who's the next shooter? Eighty-five cents I shoot. Eighty-five cents the lady shoot. Bring your bed here. Your cushions favor me. Let them roll. She's faded. Twenty to dice do. Let the hussy sprain her wrist. I'm going to cut you a brand new mop with these dice and get you something to put in it, you now long black snake. I'm rolling. Let the dice go. Delay go. Delay go. Say, Stumpy, were you on me then? Yeah, I was. Didn't I tell you never to get on my back? Yeah, but look at this is a crap game. Underline you, Nick. Catch him, Hoffman. Let him hear him chatter. Twenty in a nickel, I shoot. Twenty in a nickel, I shoot. I got a nickel. Let him roll. Underline you, small fish. I'll take you two. Now roll. You can Eighty dollars, the dice do. Now. One sixty, they don't. They do. <laughs> I know I'd have a crap game today. The Yankee boys is in town. Let him roll. The man's faded. Catch him hopping. <gasps> Eleven. Natural. What's the matter? Crooked, huh? Well, if they is crooked, they stands just like him. And here's where I straightened them both. Get me.
Strike me dead. Won't take orders, eh? Let me in quick. Not what I said. Oh, but you in trouble. Listen, Dolly, you gotta move fast. Get me a file or change your clothes, especially shoes. But you can't. Hurry, honey. I gotta leave the country. Stopping on these little islands on the way? Oh, this no local, this running express. Kingston. Quite a big city, eh? Now you shout. They got everything. Dance halls, gals. They got telegraph? Cable, you mean, big boy? Sure they got cable. What's that little island with the white fort we've been coming on this afternoon? 
Just one of them there little nigger eyes. But nobody but it go that place. Ain't nothing there but trouble. Trouble's my buddy. Say, Bo, watch my door. I ain't gonna be long. Okay. Who that? Who that? Uh, uh, Go on, buddy. Uh, 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 all right, all right, I'm coming. Well, Your Excellency, the goods has come and I brought you a few samples. First class, just like I said they'd be. Now, here's the figures. 400 cash for the lot. Oh, no. I got the contract this time. The contract, he said, 300. Contract? Well, that's just the blooming point. You see, uh, here it says, except for a Hector Gorg. Now, there ain't the like of that consignment within 300 miles. And the next boat don't get here for two months. <laughs> ain't that a Hector Gorg, self me? Where you get that trash from? On the beach. Where you come from? Come to make trouble on my island. Kill this swine. Lock him up and throw him on the first boat out. I'll take this bloomin' nigger off your hands for you, your honor. Here. Here, five silver dollars for him. Lock, stock, and barrel. What do you say now? Is it a tried? Good. Here, wait a minute. Here, bring him here. I won't have a talk with him. Yeah, that's all right. He belongs to me. So that's what it is, me man, eh? What they calls in the States a bad nigger, eh? A killer, what? With the law on your trail and the bloomin' gallus waiting for you around the next corner, what? Look here, white man. I comes and I goes. And that's my business. Oh, 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 that's the kind of a nigger you are, eh? Not afraid to stand right up to your betters and tell them what's what. You wouldn't be afraid of a bit of a fight, neither, would you? When I fight, there's something in it. And I don't never fight on no empty belly. Yeah, well, supposing your belly was full and you had a chance to get back at the stinking even what threw you out. What would you say then? And now you's talking, white man. All right. Now you get your rum and your eats. But you don't get a stinking penny. 
Because I'm a trader, see? I ain't no bloomin' missionary, and if anybody worries you, you just tell them you belong to Mr. Smithers. I belongs to Mr. Smithers. What's that? Ginger. What's that? A medal. What's that? Token. What's that? Ginger. Ginger? What's that? Coffee. Coffee ginger. Well, <laughs> well this ain't regular, but maybe the dice will do. Now, that goes first to the gentleman with the Rolls Royce. All right, talk to him, Bo. What'd I say? Fever in the South. Fever South. Ada from Decatur. Ada from Decatur. Big Dick. Big Dick. Ha! <laughs> well, shoot, man. Don't you know I mean shoot? All right, the whole pile goes to the gentleman with the Rolls Royce. Well, all right. Gather it in. All yours, buddy. Boy, I'll be dressed up here in a minute. I'm going after that hat. Let him roll. Natural. Let me have it, boy. Now, Cracker, what do you say? This whole pile against that Rolls Royce. Ha! The house is rolling. Now, come on, you galloping dominoes. Come home to Papa and let her ride. Ha! Nine is the gentleman's point. Come on, Ada from Decatur. Come on. Ha! Eve in the South, baby. Ha! The gentleman made his point. Ah, uh, the team is mine, Quacko. That's tough luck. Better luck next Saturday night. <laughs> we play Homan for Hoxham. Oh, no. Women is women. And Brutus Jones is through. <laughs> well, I'll see you boys next week. Look them over. Come on, Quacko. I'll see you later. <laughs> I wonder what the blazes is keeping that black ape. Here, where do you think you're going? Oh, good morning, Mr. Smithers. You worked in here. Well, to tell you the truth, Mr. Smithers, the boys back in the bush seems to like my methods. And I was thinking to open up a little trading business next door here. Oh, cut my bleeding throat, would you? After all I've done for you, too. Is that your idea of gratitude? <laughs> well, I was always ready to listen to reason. And while I'm unloading, if I was to hear anybody say something about a partnership, through that jungle, it gives me the creeps. Say, you notice they shut the gates after us? Look at you, white man. Is your nerves slipping? Well, I don't like it. If you had to recruit an army for them, why did you have to get such big blokes? Yeah, them is fine, nigga. I bet you they knows a man when they sees one. Well, if there's any trouble, you've only got yourself to blame. Saluting him and calling him general. Well, well, now I tell you, Mr. Smithers, if there's any trouble, you just leave a general to me. Us niggas understand each other. Tell him, Mr. Smithers. You know, you 
Mr. Smith has to see your excellency. Show the gentleman in. Good day to your majesty. Well, well, chop hole, eh? Chop hole. As fine a body of men as ever I clapped me peoples on. Hey, what, Jones? Right. Yeah. And well found, if I says it myself, as fitted him out, eh? What? Well, General, you've got a swell on me. And I reckon when you figure how little it's costing you, makes you feel mighty proud. Send in the treasure. This is my treasure. Tell the gentleman the truth now. Does you know how to figure? Yes, Your Highness. Now you see, I got a figure. Produce the contract. Your bill, Mr. Smithers. Yeah, well, uh, here you are, Your Excellency. Now then, there was a hundred uniforms at five dollars. That's a thousand dollars. There was a hundred rifles at five dollars. A thousand dollars. One cannon was five hundred and the ammunition. Well, it adds up to $4,000, Your Excellency. What does the treasure report? It seems to me that there might be a little error. Oh, well, here, here, let me have a look at it. Yeah, we all make mistakes now and again. Yes, it is a mistake. I've seen it all along. It's $5,000. There you is, Captain. Check that off and tell it to the boss. Fire! <laughs> Fire again! Empty your gun! <laughs> Don't you all know I's got a charm? Takes a silver bullet to kill Brutus Jones. My turn now, General. Company, attention. Take this bushnick and throw him out of here. I'm boss here now. All of you, get out of here. And wait. Then what I wants to stay will hear from me in an hour. Smithers, you wait. I wants to confer with you. Well, blind me if you ain't pulled it off. You have got a nerve. Nerve and brain. I calls it stinking luck having that nigger miss you twice at ten feet. Pick up that gun. Break it. Blanks. Blimey, out. You remember when Quacko got drunk in town last night and I takes care of his gun while he sleeps it off? Well, that's what I call brains. Whew. This place smells more like a chain gang dumped in a palace. Say, Smithers. How you likes the contract of doing this dump over? Now you're talking. And don't make the mistake of thinking you're dealing any ignorant bush nigger. I gives you an audience tomorrow. And yeah, bring along them fashion sheets that I gets last summer. And then I want some mirrors, plenty of them. And remember, Smithers, red's my color. I always had a special taste for red. Mr. President, now, King Brutus, now, somehow that don't make enough noise. Smithers, cigarette. Light.
Smithers, you have just had an audience with the Emperor Jones. Smithers are received him here. Clear out, all of you. Your Majesty. Well, Smithers, what's on your mind this morning? Why, you remember what I told you when you slapped that last tax on coffee? That you were cutting your own blooming throat? Sure, I remember. What of it? There was a riot down on the village last night. And your tax collector got beaten up so his own mother wouldn't know. Oh, that's old stuff. My army's got them niggas already. And I'm going to dress them down before the whole court this morning. They all need the lesson. Too late to give them a lesson now, my lad. You've got them squeezed dry. Look at here. When I take this job, what I tell you? I says three years for my cleanup, don't I? Well, we've got six months to go. Them's my arrangements, and I ain't going to change. I suppose you got your money either way, Dave, eh? I sure had. And it's banked in a foreign land where there ain't no chain gangs and no Jim Crow, and nobody can get it except me. In six months, I walks out on this nigger circus, and from then on, I top dog. Top dog, eh? Look here, white man. There's little stealing like you does, and there's big stealing like I does. A little stealer, they get you in jail sooner or later. But a big stealer, they make you emperor and put you in the Hall of Fame when you croaks. Well, all I know is that it's a wise gambler that knows when to quit. Look here, white man. You think I ain't still got these niggas like that? You think when I cracks the whip, they don't jump through? All right, I show you. I'll summon the court. Mr. 
Bring in the prisoners. <laughs> Take it upon yourself to start a rough house and beat up an officer of the crown? Well, I see I've been too easy on you, niggas. Now I'm going to show you who's boss around here. Lieutenant! Take them niggas in the courtyard and give them 50 lashes apiece and lock them up. I said, lock them up! Oh, what? What? your company to the five mile village and burn it off the face of the earth. No, you didn't have no excuse to look down on me for that. You've been in jail yourself more than once. That's a lie. <laughs> Who told you that very story? There's some things I ain't got to be told. I can see them in folks' eyes. Well, from what I've been told, it ain't safe for a black to kill a white man in the state. You mean lynchings scare me? Well, I tell you, Smithers, maybe I does kill one white man back there. Maybe I does. And maybe I kills another right here for yeah. long if he don't look out. Do you think I'd preach on you? Not me. I'm your friend, ain't I? Sure you is. And you better be. I'm going to show you that I'm your friend. I'll tell you that bit of news I was going to. Go ahead, shoot the thief. <laughs> Must be mighty bad news from the happy way you look. <laughs> ain't noticed any of the servants or the guards around the place this morning, I ain't. Oh, they're all out in the garden, sleeping under the trees. All I got to do is to ring that gong and they come flying. All right, <laughs> ring it now and you'll see what I mean. Sure, Ship is sinking, and the blooming wreck 
Ashes slung their hooks. Low flung woods niggers. Well, I reckon overplays my hand, this one. A man can't take the pot on a bobtail flush all the time. Was I saying I'd sit in six months more? Well, I changed my mind then. I cashes in and resigns the job of emperor right this minute. Well, blimey, you're a cool bird and no mistake. No use fussing. When I knows the game's up, I kisses it goodbye without no long wait. They's all run off to the hills, ain't they? Yes. Well, that must take them every man jack of them. And then the revolution is at the post. And the emperor better get his feet smoking up that tree. Go on, you look for your horse, ain't you, where you won't find it. They steals the horses first thing. Well, and then I hoofs it. <laughs> See? Do your duty. <laughs> Three thirty. Sundowns at six thirty or thereabouts. Oh, I got plenty of time. Make it easy. Yeah, well, don't you be so blasted sure. You'll have to hustle to get through that forest in twelve hours, even if you knew the trail is like a bloomin' naked. Look here, Wade man. Should sure think I was a natural born fool. <laughs> Why, I've gone out in that forest so many times for ten to hunt. I knows it high and low like a book. Could find them trails my eyes shut. And I got tin grub hid there on a big white stone where I can find it. Well, I'll be at the edge of the forest by the time dark comes. And once in them woods, them niggers will never find me. Dawn tomorrow, I reaches the coast and boards that French gunboat. I got to laugh at these fool black trash around here. <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> Supposing something happens and they does nap you. I's got five lead bullets in this gun, good enough for common bush niggers. And after that, I's got the silver bullet left to cheat them out of getting me. I tells them when the time comes, I kills myself with it. That's because I'm the only man in the world big enough to get me. And you had a silver <laughs> bullet, Mike. Honest? Oh, I sure did. Here she be. Five lead bullets and a silver baby at the last. <laughs> Don't she shine pretty? Now, let me see. Just keep your hands where they belong, white man. Blimey, you think I was a blaster thief? No, oh, take that. I know you're scared to steal from me. Only I allow nobody to touch this baby. She's my rabbit's foot. A sort of charm, eh? Now, blimey, you'll need all your blooming charms before long, self me. What's that drum beating for? For you! The blacks is having a war dance in the hills, working up their courage before they start after you. Let them. They'll sure need it. They're making all sorts of devil spells and charms against your silver bullet. Uh, takes more than that to scare this chicken. Tonight, when it's pitch black in the forest, They'll be standing their pet devils and ghosts hounding after you. You'll find your blue and air will be standing on envy tomorrow morning. It's a mighty queer place, that forest is, even in daylight. You don't know what might happen there. It's that rotten still. Always sends the cold shivers down my back the minute I gets in it. Go along, white man. <laughs> You ain't talking to this baby. And what ghosts and heads got to do with me? Well, don't you know I was a member in good standing of the Baptist Church? Let them try the heathen tricks. The Baptist Church doesn't protect me. Land them all in hell. Yeah, you ain't paid much heed to your Baptist Church down here, taking up with them blooming witch doctors. Oh, sure, I pretend. It don't get me nothing to do missionary work for the Baptist Church. I was after the coin, and I lays my religion on the shelf for the time being. But I ain't got the time to waste no more fool talk with you. I'm going away from here this second. So long, white man. I'll see you in jail sometime, maybe. No, me, you won't. Here, you ain't going out this way, are you? You think I speak out the back door like a common nigger? I am for you, ain't I? And the Emperor Jones leaves the way he comes. And that black trash don't dare stop him. 
Not yet, these ways. Listen to that roll call, will you? Must be a mighty big drum to carry that far. Well, if there ain't no old brass band to see me off, I sure got the drum part of it. <laughs> so long, white man. <laughs> Give my regards to any ghosts you meet. Well, there yeah, I am. In the nick of time, too. Sure. Give me a... Let's tuck it out, sure enough. That soft emperor shop, sure ain't no training for a long hike over that plain in the brilliant sun. Bush niggers. Wonder they wouldn't get sick of beating that drum. Sound louder, seem like. I wonder if they start and after. Oh, sure. They's miles and miles behind. What you getting fidgety about? You know what? Your belly's empty. That's what's the matter with you. <laughs> Nothing but wind on your stomach. Gosh, you feels jiggity. Well, we eat right here now. White stone, white stone. Wait. <laughs> I hear you. I know just what the white face. Box of grub. Come to me. Ain't you? Have I lost the plate? There's another stone. I'll get that. Ain't you, man? Grub, where is you? You ain't you. Have I got to go hungry in them woods all the night? Can't tell nothing from them trees. Nothing around here look like I ever seen it. I done lost the place, sure enough. Mighty queer. Mighty queer. Woods, is you trying to put some over on me? Who the hell that? What is it? Get away from me, boy! There you go. That shot makes him. Oh, he was only the little animal. Little wild pigs, I reckon. They may be rooted out your grub and eat it. Sure, you fool, nigga. What you think they is? Hands? Give the game away when you fire that shot. Them niggas will hear that for certain. Get in, nigga. What you scared at? Ain't nothing there but the trees. Get in. And the moon's rising. Did you hear that, nigga? You get more light from this house. Huh? You see where you squire. Cheer up. From now on, you have a snap. It's warm, and that's a fact. How long I've been making tracks in these years? Seem like forever. This am a long night for you, your majesty. <laughs> majesty. Ain't much majesty about this baby now. Never mind. It's all a part of the game. This night come to an end like everything else. When you get there safe and have that bankroll in your hands, he laughs at all this. Ain't no happy. 
sound I hear. Sound like... Sound... I sound like some nigga was shooting crap. The <laughs> time I beat it quick when I get them notes. Who there? Who there? Is that you, Jeff? Jeff. I'm sure I'm mighty glad to see you. They told me it done died from that cut I gave you. How you come to be here, nigga? Ain't you going to look up? Can't you speak to me? Is you... Is you a hand? Nigga, I killed you dead once. Has I got to kill you again? You take it then! <laughs> shooting shots, let him know just where I is. Corey, I've got to run. No more than heads. Oh, sure. That was all the old head. Wasn't nothing there. Wasn't no Jeff. You know what? You just get seeing them things because your belly's empty. And you're sick with hunger inside. Bless God, I don't see no more of them, whatever they is. Mercy, Lord. Mercy. Yes, I is coming. You wait, devil. I just see you you yet some time.
been here before. Oh, 
you did for you right enough, young Jimmy lad. Dead as a herring. Where's all your eye and mighty airs now, you blooming majesty? Silver bullets. Blimey. Anyhow, you died in the ice of storm. Thank you.